Wow, Anna's a much better saleswoman than I thought she was. I took a break, all right? A long, stinking, multiple-hour break. That's a way of wording that. Good morning, everybody. It's Minute and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we got the legendary merchant, Anna, to join our crew, at least one of them. In this episode, we are going to continue on with the main story. Oh, hey, we get... Uh, I guess that's always been there, but... Uh, now that we have, like, multiple magic users, it is more worth our time to just keep that in mind, I guess. I swear, like, how do you even keep track of all the sneaking shops that are just flung around the screen right here? I don't even know. Whatever. In this episode, we are going to continue on with the main story with Chapter 11. The enemy has taken the field, my lord. Oh, back already? Ha! It feels as though we had just said our goodbyes. Hmm. Our scouts report that they are surprisingly good spirits. Since when do you trust our scouts? Besides, what does it matter? They're armed like beggars compared to us. I could break their ranks as easily as I break wind. Okay, that's one way of wording it. I'd love to hear the song that bards make of that. <laughs> okay, at least they make a joke about it too. Mm -hmm. Aversa, there is a truth about the world this Ulyssian wealth must learn. A man is either strong or he is dead! <laughs> Your Highness, dire news! Speak. Our troops are laying down their weapons and deserting en masse. Please, sire, I am but a messenger. Have mercy. My lord. My lord. <laughs> I can always call it. I have a report from Con Flavia. The Pelagian army is in disarray. What? How do you mean? Right. It seems many of their soldiers are opposed to further violence. There has been infighting, desertion. Grangle is trying to stamp out the mutiny by force, but with little success. Outside of a few faithful who serve him directly, his army is all but collapsed. <clears throat> this is incredible news, but why? Emeryin. Ah. Yes, my lord, Emeryin. The report says Grangle's men chant her name as they abandon the field. Her words, and her sacrifice, have made her a folk hero of sorts. Sister... Why did it take me so long to understand? She believed all the people desire peace. She knew deep down the Plesians wanted it too. It just took her to bring it to the surface. Right. I hope she could see this wherever she is. Today we put an end to Mad King Grangle and bring peace back to the land. Okay, before we get that started, we got some conversations. We had a bunch of weird pairings in the last episode, so we got some unlikely conversations that we could experience. We got, first off, Robin and Lissa. Hey. Robin, where are you? I'm sleepy, Robin. Huh? There you are. I was just... Oh, you're sleeping while standing and with your eyes wide open. <sighs> Snark! Uh... <sighs> you must really be wiped out. Not that I blame you getting wrapped up in all this. Yeah. Looks like it's time to quietly, gently... Hold your nose! <laughs> <laughs> risen! Wolves! Risen riding wolves! They're all... Wait a moment. <laughs> oh, gods, that was hilarious. <laughs> Lissa, gods bless it. I was fast asleep. <laughs> and dreaming of risen and wolves, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to resist. I really did, but it was just too perfect. <laughs> Who does such things? Is that really how your parents raised you? <sighs> I don't know. I've never really known my parents. Oh, right. That was... Uh, don't worry about it. I know you didn't mean anything by it. 
And actually, there's something else that I should be apologizing for. Huh? Whatever it is, I'm sure I could forget it if you could forgive my heartless comment. Right. Really? That's great! Oh, I'm so sure you're going to be so angry. See, I was kind of doodling a pic of you in your big new book of battle strategies. And I kind of spilled the ink and kind of ruined the book. Kind of. Completely. I really didn't mean to, though. What? But that was a rare text! I had just started to... <clears throat> I mean, it's it's fine. Accidents happen. Phew. I'm really liking these conversations. I tried my best not to look up too many of them beforehand because mainly just the ones that um, involve relationships I want to look up to see if it's actually a pairing that I want to commit to. But with ones like Robin and uh, Lissa, I haven't seen that one before, so it was really sweet to see that. So I'm gonna maybe I'll keep them paired up more often just to see what else uh, it leads to. Now we have a bit of a weirder one, Sumia and Gaius. Hello. Oh, there you are, Gaius. Sugar. Easy, easy, almost there. Pardon me. Gaius? Gaius? Hey, Gaius! <laughs> Shh, quiet down. Can't you see I'm busy here? <laughs> Sorry. Horse plop, it flew away. What the fruit? Huh? huh? We what flew away? Hey, what are you doing anyway? I'm bee watching. Or at least I was. I didn't know you liked insects. I, I don't. It was just trying to figure out where that little fellow lived. Well. You mean the tithe? Aha, now I get it. What do you get? <laughs> You're looking for bee larva. Huh? Oh, gross, no. They're considered a great delicacy among fine society back at the capital. You know, I always suspected you had a sophisticated palate. <sighs> I have no idea what you're blathering about, Stumbles. Here goes! Hey, you should let me help you find some bee larva. I mean, since I scared your little bee friend away and all. Easy there. Uh, wow, look at the time. I gotta fly. Yes! Uh, oh, alright, but you must tell me when you go out again, alright? I insist! Bye, Gaius! Do we have to? Be larva, Crivens, I'll never understand these fancy city folk. Well, no honey for me today. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. I <laughs> like he called her stumbles. I tried to really, I tried to really stick in hard not to break out laughing when I, when I read that. Oh my god. Okay, select units. So, I've been consulting a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Knight called Kiwi, aka Kiwi. Uh, you may remember him as the one who sort of caused the babysitting mama LP to happen in the first place. But I've been talking to him about uh, how to play the game, basically. And he says that's better to hold out on using your great seals until your characters reach level 20. So I'm going to wait a bit for Robin to reach level 20. So I guess I kind of done goofed with Krom, unfortunately. But oh well, hopefully it won't be too terrible to use. Or maybe I could like reset him back to his regular class and then level him back out to level 20. That's eh, so confusing. I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, with Anna in our party now, who else do I want to use? Uh, this is the maximum group. Am I missing out on anyone I really want? Not terribly. It's weird, like, Sully and Viron were mainstays in my party during my first playthrough, but I haven't really used them at all afterwards. I don't know why. Uh, I guess this is a good group. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, for viewing the map, we're all pretty close together. It's waste ground, so nothing uh, too terrible. We're finally out of the desert, which is the main, which has been the main problem throughout our adventure, but not anymore. So let's go ahead and start this battle. What's this? Good day, my little princeling. Still dreaming of your squashed sister? Think again. No more talk, Grangle. Today you die, and peace returns to Elysian Plesia. Such hypocrisy! You despise me, wretch. You want to cut me down. You don't know the first thing about peace. No man does. I know more than you ever will. More than me? More than me? <laughs> you are me! When life asks you a question, you answer with blood. Right. Maybe you are right. I will never be my sister. I cannot forgive men like you. Men who sow nothing but evil. All I have left of her are her words, and her memory. Were I alone, I might be driven to madness, or worse. 
but I'm not alone. My friends and I are brothers in arms. Stand behind me. Are you done? May I vomit now? <laughs> what a flowery harangue. Men are beasts, nothing more. We fight, we kill, we devour our prey. Beasts do not stand behind beasts, little prince. They use each other only so long as it suits their own selfish purpose. Perhaps this explains why your own soldiers refuse to stand behind you. You are a poison, a festering wound, and I will do what my sister cannot. Such a clever ton you have, little prince. I will look quite fetching hanging on my mantle next to your sister's corpse. Ugh, he's gonna rip out his tongue. Oh, I forgot you joined us. My, my lord, I have come. Am I too late? I don't claim my dance is anything special, but Combasila says it renews the spirit. We've got ourselves a new character right here, Olivia, and a new class of fighter. She is a dancer, and believe it or not, it is helpful in battle. Dancers allow a unit to act twice in a single turn. Move next to a unit who has already completed his or her action for this turn, and then select dance. Simple as that. She basically gives up her own turn to give another character a second turn. It makes up for the fact that she is not a very strong attacker, but we could change that through class change in the future. So, Olivia is a character that I wasn't really all that crazy about first time playing the game, but after uh, playing future Fire Emblem games that had a very strong emphasis on dancing and singing, one single song throughout the entire game, throughout all three playthroughs. <sighs> I think I have a better understanding of dancer units, and maybe I'll be able to implement her a bit better than I had previously. So, for this fight, I think it would be best if Lissa was teamed up with Krom. So we're going to pair them up. Going to have them head out first. Robin, I'm going to put you with good old buddy Frederick. And we're going to lead the charge. And let's see what we got as well. We got Tharja right here, Payne, Cordelia. Hmm, Anna, I don't really know who I want to pair up with. The thing is, like, in terms of communication things, Anna's sort of our first example of, like, very limited options. I'm pretty sure Robin is currently the only person she could have communication sessions with, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, what do I want to do, though? How about... Are we doing the... Libra and Pain combo. I don't know if I want to keep doing that, though. Uh, how, how many units do I have? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so we all, we'll all be paired up eventually, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to pair Olivia up with Cordelia for now. I know that's sort of a weird choice, but whatever. Uh, Noe with... Uh, just because I don't know what else to do with them. Or how about Long Ku with a pain? That was a pairing that I was used to back in the old days. Uh, we'll do Tharja with... Uh, I guess Tharja with Noe still. Libra with... Sumia. And guys with Anna. Group of thieves. Okay. We are matches. Let's get it started. Uh, gonna head down here. We got some sparkly warklies in there. We'll have the flying unit get in there and just run on out. And that's pretty much all we can do. Just walking for now. Things will start picking up soon, though. Really excited that we finally get. The oh god, I didn't think they were that close. I'm really excited that we are starting to get some more of my more favorite characters, so I can start building together the team that I actually want to use throughout the entire game. Though the problem with this is though is that I um. I guess I really shouldn't be talking about this now, but yeah, whatever. Well, that's an indication that I shouldn't be talking about, it, so I'm just gonna stop right there. But now everyone's gonna be like, "What was it?" <clears throat> yes, draw closer. Let them charge at me with their rage. More of my soldiers shall greet them at every foolish step. Hmm. Hopefully, we won't have reinforcements later on. That'd be kind of dangerous. Uh, we could attack him and then pick this up automatically, which is nice. So, just trying to think of who would be best to pick that up. Just limiting my space by like only moving this far forward. And we'll go with that, I guess. Gonna have this guy taken down, no problem. Love the background, love the music and everything like that. So I'm not exactly sure how last episode not the last episode, but the episode before two episodes ago where it was all super serious. Uh practice my dragon raw, hopefully it'll scare away some baddies now. Uh weapon proficiency, okay. 
Uh, we'll have Anna. It's Anna or Gaius. Oh, Gaius is actually super vulnerable. I really want to have this guy get taken down. I remember giving Anna a killing edge in previous playthroughs. Uh, previous playthrough. But apparently she doesn't need it! Because she is awesome. But yeah, she is another person I could give a killing edge to, though, so I should keep that in mind. Increases magic by two permanently. Okay, I should remember that. I'll get rid of Boolean. I uh, probably should have sold that stuff off camera, but whatever. I don't do anything off camera because I'm dumb. Uh, what does the Draco shield do? Increases defense by two permanently. Okay. Should remember these things and also should actually use them. I'm gonna hold back a bit. Switch to... Switch to Lissa? Uh, just a matter of... Switch to Robin then. Then! Get rid of this thing. Not this thing. This guy, excuse me. Sorry for being so rude. I have feelings too, you know, even though I'm a generic NPC who looks all the same as all the other guys. Okay, we got that taken care of. What the proficiency went up. Uh, Krom, we're going to have Lissa heal Anna, because she is very, very important to our group. Oh, we get a discount. I love her phrases, everything like that. Uh, we got Pain up next. Oh, God, there's so many guys over here. And a treasure chest. So many guys everywhere, my God. It's like. With how many thinking people they have on their side, do you think they would allow us to have multiple units or just like every character we have enter battlefields? But no, uh, no archers as far as I could see. So, mm, I could use this opportunity to show off Olivia, but that puts her, makes her vulnerable. How about, how about that? Yeah, we'll dance for. Rom and Lissa. Apparently her dance was so incredibly epic that it allows them to forget that the rules of the game and it makes them uh, get another step, I guess. I guess that's what they're going for. I don't know. Put Krom in front and Sumia. I'm going to have you stand right here in the healing ground. Switch to... Uh, what's his face? Libra. And... Let's get started, or let's get continuing, because we haven't, we're not starting, we're already in the heat of battle. I'm good at commentating, guys, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't end up recording this LP, like, super sync quickly. I don't know what it was with Anna, like, she told me to take a break, and I just went full-blown taking a break. I don't know why, I spent a lot of the day procrastinating, like, I just did not want to record. I guess it's good that I didn't force myself, I kind of want to force myself right now, just right at the end. I just want to get... This chapter and then one or more episode afterwards, and then I think that'll be the halfway point of the game, so that's a good time to stop then. But yeah, I just sort of want to get that done, and then I don't know when I'll be able to record again, but we'll see, I guess. The main thing is just that I gotta start editing things, so I don't know how this is gonna look. I kind of wanted to do like a new setup for this thing, where like I wanted to see if I can make a layout, make the DS layout that you see right here in the final product, uh, have that be done while recording, if I could like put the two screens in that place and have OBS capture the screen, because OBS, I record the 3DS thing with OBS because the 3DS capture itself doesn't work for me, so I just have OBS open to capture uh, the visual, it's not actually recording its core, if you know if that makes any sense to you. Um, so I was wondering if there was a way that I could like have, a temp have the template already popped up on screen so that I could, oh they do have more people come. I'm pretty sure this was brought up before, but if you put characters in these spots, then you'll be able to stop them from uh, spawning in more people, so that's a useful tip. Uh, I gotta switch pain out. Uh, phooey. I don't know what I want to do. It. Okay, my cat's just pumping a carpet. Okay, cool. Switch the long coup, I guess. Uh, at least this will get rid of this guy, no doubt, and he keeps all of his HP in the process, so I guess that's a good idea, but... Yeah, as I was saying, I was trying to figure out a way to have this layout be already set in stone so that it would make editing a heck of a lot easier because I'm honestly terrified for the rest of Year 7, even though like I have so many of it already recorded. It's just that there's a lot of stinking DSLPs in the remainder of Year 7, so it's going to be really stinking long. I remember late and just taking forever, and then as soon as I got to Earthbound, it was just like, oh my god, editing's actually fast. It's just It was just the fact that it was a DS game. It was really sick and crazy, but uh, yeah, I'm really kind of nervous about this. So part of me was hesitant to even start recording this game in the first place until I got this idea figured out. But everyone I know who 
records games or anything like that that they were at MAGFest, so I couldn't ask any of them. And I just sort of haven't gotten around to asking them after they got back, so yeah. That's my life. I don't know how to do things, basically. I could have just looked it up, I guess, but I don't understand anything. I'm like, I've gone this, I've probably gone this route before, but like, I'm, s I am probably the densest stinking video maker in the history of the universe. I don't, it's a stinking miracle that I've done YouTube for as long as I have, and been able to make the things that I've made so far, because it's, I don't even know. I'm just so, so terrible at being able to learn new things, and I really wish that I just had more resources available to me at a younger age, and I got into it younger, but my upbringing didn't give me opportunities like that so i just missed out and i kind of have to work from the ground up and it's just hard to absorb knowledge when you're young or when you're old rather it's sort of like i was thinking about that before when um i was at a friend's house and um his daughter was teaching me how to play guitar and she's like eight or nine years old but like she is a natural and she was amazing teaching me how to play guitar and everything like that and she actually successfully taught me to string a few strums. I was actually playing decent sounds and music and I felt proud of myself. I was so stinking happy. So that's something I always want to do is play instruments. But again, that was nothing, nothing relating to m music or any sort of creative media in any of my schools. So I just missed out on all of it. And now that I'm in film school, it's just like, it's all business and stuff. So no real uh, opportunities to just have fun or learn about new things. It's kind of weird. You just have to like, uh, learn about the field that you want to be in and that's it. It's kind of unfortunate, but maybe it's different for other schools and I don't know. I just, it's a long singing story, but whatever. Where do I even want to go? I had this grand old speech. I could have been like shortening the video by, uh, doing stuff while I was talking, but no, I was just like go to a standstill. Uh, and it has a lot of stinking mo movement range. Oh, who's she pair with? She's pair with Gaius. Uh, it's kind of useless. Uh, I want her to heal herself, but she can't. Uh, how did she? Didn't she heal herself like during other things? Like, oh, I could do that. Okay, so we'll bring her down here. Uh, but then, oh, but that puts Lissa. I was gonna bring her down here and then dance to Lissa, have her heal Anna, but then that leaves Lissa out in the open with all these guys. So I don't want to do that either. Hmm. It's so hard, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll put Krom here for now. I just want these guys to get rid of. I think I just have to wait to, to start counterattacking. Kind of unfortunate, but it might be my only option. Uh, well, dan uh, I don't know if I want to dance because that leaves Olivia in the open. I don't know, is she as weak as I remember her being? I, I have to test that, I guess. Well, if I'm testing, I might as well uh, dance in the process. Okay, we'll have her do that. I enjoyed this dance. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Oh, uh, what do we got? Take him out. Take him out. Lanku could just go on a killing spree if he wants to. Uh, I want this guy taken care of. Uh, hopefully that placement wasn't too terrible. Uh, if we get some criticals up in here, or some dodging, either or would be appreciated. I remember that being like a really big deciding factor in the future. It was like, you will not win battles unless your enemies miss and you get criticals. Maybe that was just because I was playing terribly though, so hopefully that won't be the same this time around. Uh, so what's he even doing? We got the two thieves. Uh, I guess we'll try to get them to open that treasure chest. Uh, want to heal Krom? Nah, he's, he's good for now. Okay, what do we got? Olivia, what you got? Please don't die in one hit. I guess we'll never know, okay. Well, four damage, I guess that's an example for attack power. But the thing is, you need her to get to level 10 in order to change her class. I'm sorry. And that won't be happening anytime soon! Great! I know I really need to implement those optional chapters where I just, like, battle for the heck of it. Just so I can level up characters, and I guess I'll start doing that. But, man, that was unfortunate. Oh, she got, like... A very crummy amount of experience, and that was it. She's got one enemy. Uh, whatever. Okay, well, that was bad because I know I didn't use her. I really, I want to go into it right now, but there's a reason why I want to really, really use Olivia this time around. Okay, so Libra again is kicking butt. I didn't use Libra all that much. I remember, or maybe I did. I don't know. 
He was like a character that like I kept on my team just because I need to fill up the slots. Okay, there's that guy. What's up next? Okay, Krom will have no problem taking this guy out. This still protects him, which is great. I guess like when you think about it, I'm putting myself at a bit of a disadvantage with all these new pairings because I'm not benefiting from the stat boost that I've gotten from keeping all the other characters together in, in specific groups. So the fact that I'm um, still keeping people alive is showing them doing somewhat well for myself. And he's already moving. What's the objective? It's route the enemy, so I have to get rid of everyone. And uh, uh, open up this chest. Oh god, goddess icon. Uh, increases luck by two. You know all these good items that I don't know how to use because I'm bad at video games. Hmm. I wish, I wish he just had one more square Tharja. I'll switch to Noe. Robin. Can you beat him now? No, you can't. Guess we'll do that. Hmm. Is it gonna be enough? Can this Chrom do 24 damage to him? 35 minus 16, I have no stinking clue. I will buddy up if we have to, I guess. So 24 there, or further, but Robin takes a lot more damage. Okay, I well, guess we'll start with this. Clinging to each other won't save you maggots when the boot falls. I feel like even he knows that he's about to lose. Okay, he's got 11 sword. Those of you who played Smash Brothers probably know what that uh, weapon is. Uh, and he does drop it along with a dragon stone, apparently, after we beat him. Let's see if we could do this. 5 HP, no, not enough. Oh, but they're right there. Mm. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. Oh, no, Robin. Oh, we might have to... God darn it, I didn't want to do that. If Robin goes down to this guy... Hmm. I really wanted Chrome to get the finishing blow, but mm. hopefully he can survive the counter attack. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Come, Prince Lane! I've sharpened my sword just for you. Now I'm angry. My sister wished for our people to know peace, Grangle. But as long as you draw breath, it can never be done. For you, Lizzie! You can do it. Why'd you gotta miss, Grom? You had 90% accuracy! Oh, that's unfortunate. I need to get rid of this guy because if Robin dies, we automatically get a game over. I don't know if I mentioned that, but if Grom or Robin ever die, then it's automatic game over. Even if you're playing on easy mode. So you gotta keep them uh, alive and well. God darn it, I was not expecting Chrome to stink and miss. Ugh. Hmm, I don't know what I want to do. Sit here, I guess. Uh, what do I just step on? Uh, Gaius is convict. I don't know why it belongs to Gaius. Why it's over here? Guy, Grand Strength. That skill and speed plus two for one battle. Why is it named after Gaius? I don't know. Uh, Cordelia is alone. God darn it, I forgot about that. Um, what could she do? Okay, get rid of this guy. Might as well do it. Go and do that. A little bit of magic. Okay. Cordelia gets a level up. Very much needed. I hardly knew I had such strength. Enemy phase. Oh, he takes that. It's money. Okay, whatever. I don't care too much about that. Uh, he's going- Oh no, he's going after Robin! Thank you for missing! Okay, Robin gets a level up from the counter, which is nice. Now that's what I call progress, my favorite line. Okay. As long as no one else goes after Robin, we should be good, because she is too dangerously low on HP, and that was too close for comfort. Definitely would have died to a boss. Uh, Cordelia, if you dodge that- No. No, oh, you're not too weak. I'm just too stupid. Don't blame yourself, Cordelia. She's a really great character. I gotta, like... I feel like I gotta use her more in this playthrough. Let's see what we got. Pain and long coup. Dodge. I'll make this quick. This is just a dynamic duo in general. Oh, he's done. And we got 
that. And another one bites the dust. Okay. So if I'm super on edge right now, I'm just like super on killing edge. <laughs> I'm just really stinking worried about Robin right now, even though she's not really in danger. I just want I want Grangle to go down, and then I'll feel a lot safer. So I don't know how many more enemies we have on this field. Wow, you two are really good together. Okay. I don't know why I was like so destined, not destined, like uh, so determined to like switch things up this time around, but maybe I should keep with the old. A uh, classic combo of Long Ku and Pain, but that looks like a unique unit over there. Uh, no, it's just another Plesian hero. Huh. Well, no hero to us, unfortunately, so... Hopefully we won't have to deal with him, but right now... Krom, can you finish this guy off? Let's find out. Fool of a prince. Your people cannot for you. You are alone. As every man lives and dies alone. We got the Leaven Sword. And the Dragon Stone. Give that to Noe later on. I remember thinking, like, oh, this is from Smash Brothers. Yeah, I give that to Robin immediately. But unless Robin's well suited for offense, she really won't benefit from it. And I, my Robin specifically is not going to be benefiting from that. Maybe if I was a bit better in strategizing or anything like that. But something I didn't show off is that you actually get to choose Robin's strengths and weaknesses at the beginning of the game. And I'm pretty sure I gave her high magic and low offense. So for that reason, I probably won't be giving her the love sword. But that, like, it's a sword that does magic damage, so I don't know. So you get to benefit from the sword, uh, from the type sharp, then like it does magic. So it's not, I don't have no idea, I don't know. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Switch to Frederick, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Just wait. And you guys could just go on over here. So we gotta get rid of every single enemy. It's not enough that we just got rid of the boss. Uh, hmm. We'll do that, I guess over here and long Ku, we will get rid of this guy kind of weird that they're still fighting when their cane has fallen I know like usually that's sort of how it goes when we're in these fights you just gotta get rid of everyone on the field but like as soon as the big bad cane himself uh, you think they would be a bit more uh, willing to stop it now but they'll be loyal to the bitter end but uh, it was still heartwarming to know that uh, the majority of his troops weren't willing to fight for him anymore. Oh uh, boy, let's see, go ahead and do this. Pick a god and pray. Worth it! Oh my god, I think I love that line. Oh, uh, that will that will be something that just never gets old. Such a great stinking line. It's a stinking metal thing ever, and from stinking Frederick, who's all proper and He's like, my lord. <laughs> I love the my lord, and I love the pick a god and pray. He's just got the best lines. Okay, so we'll head up here now, and just get ready to attack the remaining troops. Anyone else? We got you two. You two have just been bumbling around, unfortunately. I kind of wish I was using a bit more, but I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, let's see if Longku can survive this. Uh, he's got the type of advantage, even if it did hit, so probably not that bad. Uh, we will have... I guess we can... Can we have you guys... No? Yes. Yes. Longku, can you take this guy? Yes, you can. Okay. Good enough for me. The Killing Edge! Oh, I love this singing weapon so singing much. Better. Got a speed. I, I don't know why. I just like. Oh, he his killing edge is at one HP. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. I gotta use all these like stat increasing items next episode or off camera. Good luck. Okay, there we go. 
And finally, this guy. We are good. We lost two units, and it was Olivia, so. Another happy customer. With that, the Plegian army has finally fallen. The remaining Plesian forces are surrendering en masse. Good. Order our forces to cease fighting at once. Sire. <sighs> then it's finished. Once their messenger delivers our terms, that's it. We put an end to this bloody business once and for all. We've won. Somehow I don't feel like celebrating. Nah. Victory can be bitter as well as sweet, boy. It's good you learned that now. <clears throat> Regna Ferox lost many good soldiers today. We need to see to our dead. Then it's time to attend to the living and rebuild our army. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Flavia. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Ulysses will compensate your nation in whatever fashion. Oh, in that case, how about you hand over your fire emblem and we'll call it even. Ha! <laughs> Just a little for Oxy humor. Don't worry about- don't worry after our finances, Krom. Repeti- Repar- Rep- Reparations- Reparations will fall to please you, and I've seen their treasury. They can well afford it. Oh, great. Yes, pity the man who steals between Flavia and a full coffer, boy. I'll have to remember that when you come to visit Yulistal. Listen. Robin. Krom? What's wrong? You look so serious. Forgive me. I... I think I owe you an apology. This wasn't your war to fight. <laughs> but I chose to fight it. <sighs> All I've been thinking about is stopping Grangle. No matter the cost, even my own life would not have been too high of a price to pay. No. It would have been for us, and for me. No. I've been thinking a lot lately, about everything, and about you, Robin. In many ways, you're the best fighter I've ever known, and the best friend. You're a special woman. And I, I wonder if you think of me as more than your leader. I think of you as a great man, and dear to my heart. Listen to me. I never want to let you go, Robin. D does that make me selfish? Well... If so, then let me be selfish too. I would be with you always. Listen. Robin? Huh? Yes, Kron? We met under unusual circumstances, but lives have been made from far less. My sister always followed her heart, so now I'm going to follow mine. What I want to ask you, what I mean is, will you marry me? Yeah. Good. With a word, you've made me the happiest man in all the realm. Now I'll need to ask for a bit of patience for the near future. My first duty must be to heal the scars of war and assume my role for the people. But then, we can begin our life together. Right. That's all right. I'm a tactician, remember? I'll figure something out. Thank you. Hey. I can't help but think back to the day we first met. Strange, isn't it? The way fate brought us together. I am a lucky woman to have met you. And luckier still now. I know together we can bring joy back to the royal palace. I'll do everything I can to make the castle a happy home for us. My love. <laughs> My love. And so the war between Ulysses and Plegia was ended. Prince Krom and Robin worked tirelessly to restore Ulysses' splendor. This would be no easy task, 
for the war had taken a heavy toll on the Haildom. But with Feroxy muscle and Plesian gold, they brought peace back to the people. All the while, the prince foresaw the title of Exalt out of respect to his late sister. Even so, his subjects grew eager for their new ruler to take a wife. And in his heart, Krom had always known who that woman would be. The royal wedding was a joyous occasion, attended by thousands from near and far. Finally, it seemed that the last lingering wounds of Ulysses' history had healed. But then, two years later... The War of Ulysses and Plesia has come to an end. As for where our new king and his troops will go in the future? Only time will tell. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, the true story begins. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.